Hello and welcome to Clandale for the second round of the Fab Race and British Minibike Championship, a part of the Road to MotoGP. Let's take a look at the AC40 Pros and straight away let's dive into the commentary box. We are here for the Race 1 AC40 Pro Championship. So Sam Gardner starts on pole position with Matthew Thomas alongside him. Byron Johnson starts P3. Lewis Holt starts P4. Liam Lindquist starts P5. Jensen Bishop starts P6. Colin Gleason starts P7. Ollie O'Gorman P8. Oliver Hall in number 3 starts P9. And Bethany Ashby rounds out the top 10. Dylan uh, Turian uh, starts P11. Zap Penegar starts P12. Callum Maxwell in P13. And rounding out uh, the grid is Gl uh, Chloe Sewell in P13. P14. So it's absolutely uh, an absolutely uh, kind of jam-packed, uh, jam-packed day. So, um, so Rex, what, what, what made you? Uh, where, where do you want to go? Where, where do you want to progress? Well, I hope one of my friends win. Yeah. And we can see the number one, three, four there. Oh, uh, Sam. That is that is Sam. Um, Sam. Uh, so, oh, so uh, Matthew, uh, uh, Zach, Zach, sorry, Zach. Hello, uh, uh, There we go. So, yeah, that is Zach. Unfortunately, not going to be able to make it to the grid for the race start. But, Rex, so wh wh where do you want to go? Do you want to go, like, uh, BSP? Do you want to go MotoGP? Wanna, What's the goal? I want to try go MotoGP. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the answer we like to hear. That's the answer we like to hear here. <laughs> oh, I lovely. Might, I might do BSP after that. After that, after that. So, uh, as a retirement plan, you're going to go from uh, MotoGP to, to BSP. Um, oh, that's uh, absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely. So, we can see the riders all prepared on the grid now, and I believe we are ready to, uh, we are ready to start this race. It's going to be nine laps, uh, nine laps, or uh, may maybe a little bit uh, less. Not too sure, uh, not too sure yet, but we'll get confirmation as soon as we know. So, the lights, we are getting pointed towards the lights, <laughs> and ladies and gents, here we go, the light is on and it's lights out and away we go, go, go. As we see uh, Gardner get a very, very good start. I think he's in the lead, but he's under pressure rather quickly. Uh, as we see, all the top three is making moves left, right and centre. Uh, someone go on the outside. Oh, no, dart to the inside. What a move. That was a little bit of contact there. A little bit of contact we've seen two by two by two as we come round into the technical part of this lab. Absolutely sensational there. So I believe that is Sam Gardner uh, in the lead. I think he's still kept the lead as he is... Uh, under pressure from Matthew Thomas uh, in the two. We've seen everyone following each other very, very, very nicely. Uh, for now, as we can now see them coming up the uh, second straight. Here we go, into the left, into the right-hander. And yes, that is a, a very, a very nice well start. All of them are quite bunched up uh, at the moment. It's, uh, it's a very, very, very interesting uh, race start. And to the inside, I believe, goes Matthew Thomas. What a move, I believe that is. Or is it a defence? It's a defence. It is indeed Matthew Thomas. Uh, oh no, sorry, Baron Johnson is in the lead from Sam Gardner there. Absolutely fantastic scenes there. Baron Johnson setting the fastest lap with a 56.840. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Rex, so how do, how do you think your friends are doing? Very good. Very good, very good. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. So Byron Johnson in the lead from Sam Gardner, Liam Lindquist in P3, Matthew Thomas in P4, Lewis Hall in P5, Bishop in P6, Coe Gleason uh, up to P7, uh, Oliver Hall P8, ben, uh, Bethany Ashby in P9, ran out of the top 10, Oyo Gorman, who has dropped a few places there from P8 to P10. Now, so this battle for P1 between Byron Johnson and Sam Gardner is looking like a tasty treat. And do you know what? Even uh, P3 and 4 are there as well. And sending to the inside is Sam Gardner for the lead. But he just has to back out before he can complete the move. So it is still going to be uh, Byron Johnson, Sam Gardner in second, Liam Lindquist in third. And the top five are pretty much together. They are all separated by just, uh, by just about uh, two and a half seconds from um, from the leader Byron Johnson so it's a it's a very very good race so far we've seen Byron Johnson pull a little bit of a gap to the back of Gardner uh, Lindquist uh, trying his hardest to try and gain up that 4 tenths deficit to Sam Gardner and it's looking like they are really all on the limit for this it's a it's fantastic it's a fantastic uh, little um, well it's a fantastic uh, championship this as we now see a battle on screen here 
Oh, oh, were they going to be able to? Not sure. So this is this is third and fourth. So this is uh, Linquist and Thomas fighting for the final podium position here. As we see a great little battle here. Is Sam Gardner going to be able to do anything and, and go around the outside of Johnson? No, he's not. Johnson keeps the lead of this race. Absolutely, absolutely incredible scenes here. Oh wow! Yes, it's uh, oh, 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 and there's been a and there's been a fall. There has been a fall into uh, that is second place. That's Sam Gardner. That is Sam Gardner who uh, signals that he's okay, he's okay, uh, and the bike is moved out of the way. It's yellow flags, yellow flags in uh, yellow flags. Uh, I wasn't saying set to one there, but uh, yellow flag in set to one. So Rex, now we've got a yellow flag. How, how do you find this track? Is it, is it a nice track to drive? Is it a bit difficult? Is it what? What, what do you think? Well, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. So. There's quite a few straights, more corners though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's actually quite a nice track. Mm. Is it nice and fast? Is it nice, fast and flowing? Mm, sort of. Is it sort of? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's that's lovely to hear. As we now see the number fourteen, uh, number fourteen, and the one hundred and twenty-eight together. So this is the battle for P three. This is the final podium position here. Uh, second and third. Oh no, it's second and third now. Sorry, apologies for that. Uh, second and third. So Liam Linquist uh, is just behind Brian Johnson by two point one seconds. Um, Byron Johnson um, in uh, in P one. Liam Linquist in second. Matthew Thomas is in P. Three, Lewis Hall, fourth, Chloe, uh, Chloe Gleason uh, in P5, Jensen Bishop up to six, Oliver Hall, seventh, Ollie O'Gorman, eighth, uh, ninth, uh, Dylan Torian, and uh, Bethany Ashby up to P10. So, as we're now looking on screen, these two are very, very close. I believe this is still the battle for now. What is second place? Um, so, do, Rex, do, do you want to do? Yeah, go, go on then. You, you, take us, you take us for a few laps. Well, Byron's doing quite well. He's got a bit of a gap. Yeah. Liam's doing very well. Yeah, yeah. And as we see the 14, uh, I think that's still defending. Yeah, that's still defending uh, from number three. Go on, Rex. Well, there we go. Matthew's doing really well as well. Yeah. So I reckon he'll be happy to take third, but it'll be Liam's first ever podium at Fab because mm. he moved from not sprinting. I can't remember where we moved from, but he has a, his only race. He, this, this, is, this is his only championship in Fab. Hmm. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. raced in here before, so I think he's doing really well. Yeah, yeah, and he'd, he'd be really happy if he gets the podium. Mm. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's uh, absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely. So, Rex, go on, be honest. If you were racing in this right now, where would you be? Um, I reckon I'd be... Fourth. Fourth at the moment. That's uh, that's that's really that's uh, that's re really nice. That's really <laughs> really honest. <laughs> we love that. We love that. Uh, so as we see this battle between uh, Liam and Matthew still continuing. We've got three laps to go of this race, and you know what? Matthew is really quite closing up to the back of Linquist here. Could we see a battle? Uh, could, could we see a change uh, for second place? Either way, both these drivers at the moment do get a podium. It would be very interesting to see if um, if Lewis Hall can maybe do something. Uh, and maybe kind of gain two seconds. It's a lot to ask, uh, but to get a podium, we will see. So, looking now, uh, as we see as we see the final few bikes coming over the start finish straight we are now so i think this is yeah this is still the battle still the battle for uh, for second place as we see i believe yeah just coming down uh, into this left right hander onto the back of the spitfire straight so here they go down spitfire straight is anybody going to be able to get a slipstream on the back of one another it looks like someone's going on the inside no he just backs out at the last minute that could have been that could have been uh, quite a good mood um, but this is this is now uh, I believe maybe fourth fourth onwards. Rex, who, who, who's racing at the moment? Who can we see? Um, I can see Oliver Ward, Jensen, and Chloe. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, this, this is this is around uh, the battle for four, the fourth to six um, is is this battle. Then thank you very much, Rex, for that. Um, so we have uh, yeah, Lewis Hall in the number forty-one in P4, Chloe Gleason uh, in the top five, which is fantastic, uh, fantastic. Her and Jensen Bishop in P6 is this great little battle here, all uh, all um, kind of in six tenths of a second of one another is this battle. So it's a fantastic, fantastic battle here. As this is the battle for that's that's uh, that is Thomas who has managed to get past Linquist. 
Wow, what a move. So we just missed that. And he also sets the fastest lap uh, as well on that lap, does Matthew Thomas, for a 55-55-1-1, uh, uh, which is a, a very, very, very good lap. A 52-56 uh, is, uh, is the current lap record. Uh, but if Matthew continues with this pace, uh, he might be able to he might be able to think. So we are on the last lap now. Uh, and we are maybe going to see... Well, no, it's looking like uh, Byron Johnson uh, Byron Johnson has managed to finish two and a half seconds, or at the moment, he has managed to pull two and a half seconds to Matthew Thomas. What a sensational effort now, as we now see a little battle coming across the start-finish line, and we are going to see the number 37, Boris Johnson. Here we are, coming down into the final corner. It's going to be a fantastic win for Byron Johnson, who crosses the line to win a Matthew Thomas in P2 and a first podium for Liam Linquist in P3. Absolutely sensational riding there. What, what a race. So, as you can see on the graphics there, Byron Johnson wins from Matthew Thomas, who just pips Liam Linquist to P3. And a top 10 rundown. They are still racing at the moment. So, Byron Johnson finishes P1 ahead of Matthew Thomas in P2. Liam Linquist in P3. Lewis Hall P4. So we now see it on screen. Gleason finishes P5. Fisher P6. Hall P7. Gardner P8. O'Gorman P9. And Turian P10. Rex, what did you think of that race? I think it was a really good race. It was, wasn't it? It was a fantastic Byron, race. Byron done really well. Mm. So did Liam and so did everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Really, really good race in there. It's absolutely lovely to see uh, all these uh, all these riders doing really well and being really competitive uh, with, with one another. Absolutely, absolutely incredible there. So yeah, uh, obviously only one uh, non-finish there. That was Zach, uh, Zach Penigar, who was obviously running P2 at the time, so I'm not too sure what happened there. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, Rex. It's been an absolute pleasure, and we hope to see you, uh, hope to see you on the track sometime soon. Thank you. <laughs> oh, absolutely lovely there uh, to hear from Rex, obviously, uh, who is uh, just battling an injury at the moment, but he should be, uh, he should be, um, he should be here uh, racing uh, sometime soon. Absolutely incredible. Wow. What a race, Lewis. What a race. Yeah, it was a great race. There was a lot of drama that happened in it. Um, and well done to Rex. Um, yeah, absolutely. Such a mature and well-spoken boy for his age. Absolutely. Um, incredible. You know, I feel like that's one thing that racing does teach you, is that I feel like racers usually end up maturing a lot more and they're so well spoken as we see two racers um, <laughs> that are just racing in the AC40 Pro race having a laugh um, having a giggle about what just happened and well it just outlines what we're saying they're all best friends absolutely absolutely yeah yeah. we, we can just see the, these two now on screen there's um, you know the, the, the rider on the right was just stretching back a little bit just going oh you know what a what an absolute <laughs> what an absolute really, uh, really good race the AC40 Pros which is the step up and um, the next class up from the AC40 rookies. And it's just their next step in their racing careers. And it's where they really start to find their feet and gain, gain confidence in the motorcycle and it always produces great racing because it is quite a big grid that we have here in the AC40 Pros. I believe that we'll have 15 riders on the grid today with um, George Ackerman actually joining us for the Sunday. He was not out yesterday, I believe. He was um, doing something else. So it's great that he's able to join us for today's race. Um, quick shout out to um, Olio Gorman, which you can see in eighth place right now. He's got the green and yellow levers on and the green and yellow bike. He is, um, of course, Casey O'Gorman's brother. Casey O'Gorman doing amazing right now. Casey, if you're watching, if any of your family is watching, um, good luck from everyone here at FAB um, at um, Estoril for the European Talent Cup. Casey O'Gorman, of course, racing and led in the Extreme 200s and been doing great things. Double podium in his first ever round at Portimao in the Red Bull Rookies as the AC40 Pros head out on the warm-up lap. There's only one warm-up lap as, as, as we have a look at the grid with Sam Gardner starting in pole position from Matthew Thomas. Byron Johnson in third with Lewis Hull in fourth. Liam Lindquist in fifth with Jensen Bishop in sixth. Um, Coe Gleason in seventh with Olio Gorman as mentioned in eighth. All, Oliver Hall which had a test yesterday on the mini GP fifth days getting ready for a potential future step up in the next coming months or um, next year. Um, starting in ninth with um, Bethany Ashby in tenth. Dylan Turin in eleventh with um, Zach Penegar in twelfth. Callum Maxwell in thirteenth with Coe Sewell in fourteenth. And as mentioned, George Ackerman 
rounds off the grid in 15th, which is joining us for today's racing as they come down to the starting grid to get ready for this race where they'll meet marshals, their family, their friends, they'll pull into their grid slots, get last words of encouragement, get last words of advice, check that everything's okay with the bike in that warm-up lap before they head off for what should be a sensational race. The riders just getting ready, we're just waiting for the final few riders um, to get into their grid slots and all the marshals to make their way off the grid before they look up to the lights and tension now is starting to build on the grid. You can feel it from here in the commentary box. Everyone's starting just to leave the grid now. The riders are on their own. We're waiting for the point up to the lights where everyone will look up to the light. The signal's at the back. They point up to the lights. Every All riders now have eyes on these lights. They're going to want a great start. As we look for the lights, come on, lights are on and lights are out and we are racing here. It looks like Sam Gardner got a superb start on the 56. Great start there from Sam Gardner with Byron Johnston, I believe, in second place. Closely followed by Matthew Thomas, who of course we've seen earlier on. Matthew Thomas in third place right now, but Sam Gardner leads the way on his first lap of the race. I believe now Byron Johnston is in the weeds of this race. What a superb start from third place on the grid. Byron, Byron Johnson leads the way. Sam Gardner just behind him. Um, as well, that's a rider down there um, coming into the hairpin, but they're on their feet um, as, a, um, as Sam Gardner is chasing Byron Johnson. Wanting this first place, wanting this victory. Just eight laps ago, I believe that is Ollie O'Gorman um, there, but he's managed to get a bite restarted as we head down Spitfire Street. Sam Gardner is trying to find some way to get past Byron Johnson. Um, he's going to want some way to get past with just seven laps to go in this race. What a quick first lap. That has been so much drama, so much action. But, Alex, you have it all to live for another seven laps. Absolutely, absolutely. I have no, I have no clue what happened to Byron Johnson, though. Just absolutely flying from third on the grid to first. Has sensational uh, couple of corners from him there, setting the fastest lap of a 55-601 on that first lap. So, top 10 rundown. Byron Johnson leads this race away from Sam Gardner in P2. Matthew Thomas in P3. Liam Linquist in P4. Up to P4, I should say. Lewis Hall down to P5. Chloe Gleason up to P6 with Oliver Hall in P7. Jensen Bishop uh, down to P8. Dylan Twin P9. And rounding out the top 10 is Callum Maxwell in the triple one machine. What a fantastic few laps to this race. Byron Johnson absolutely on a flyer of a race for race two of the AC40 Pro Championship as we see the first three drivers, four drivers, five drivers, all the drivers coming over the line at the moment. Olga Hall uh, has overtaken Chloe Gleason for P6 in this race. Byron Johnson, another fastest lap on that, uh, on that lap. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely incredible there. The lap record is a 52-6. Byron Johnson put in a 54-8. Uh, as we see, uh, Chloe saw there on track best lap of a 104 at the moment, which is not too shabby at all. As we now see, uh, go back to the action here. I think we are still on board with, uh, oh, I say on board, we're still focusing on Byron Johnson and the battle of first place between Byron Johnson and Sam Gardner with Matthew Thomas just a little bit into about a second behind this battle for first place. We see Byron Johnson and Sam Gardner. Sam Gardner just not close enough just yet to make a move yet, but we see he actually got a very good final corner there. Uh, let's see what the gap has come down to. It's still four tenths of a second. In fact, the gap was exactly the same on that lap as it was on the previous lap. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, fantastic commitment from both drivers uh, and uh, very good consistency uh, from these drivers as well. So Byron Johnson is still leading this race in the very, very, very nicely multicolored uh, pink and and uh, practically every other colour on the rainbow, uh, number 37. There was Sam Gardner just behind with a bit more of, a, of an orangey look, which looks very, very aggressive indeed. The gap between both of them is still around three to four tenths of a second. Barry Johnson through the left-hander, uh, through the right-hander, through the left-hander there. Now the right-hander once again onto the back of the Spitfire straight is Sam Gardner close enough is a, a lot closer than last time yes he is indeed is he going to be able to make a send just just not uh, this lap but if he keeps on this pace I can assure you Lewis he will next lap yeah so uh, it looks like Sam Gardner is looking off the inside there going into the first she came but he cannot find the way past Byron Johnson has the absolute every single bit of the track covered he does not want to give up this victory he's also 
racing in the LC40 Elite Series. He has plenty of track time this weekend. Um, he's had a great year so far at Lizzie. He has some amazing results. And he's going to want to try and carry that momentum throughout the season. Sam Gardiner is going to try and just keep piling on the pressure and hope that eventually they crack. But these riders, they are not rookies. They have experience. They know what it's like to fight for wins and fight for victories and fight for positions and know what it feels like to the pressures and how to um, be able to handle with the pressure. I believe in the screen right now that is Liam Lindquist um, down in fourth place right now. This is the battle for third um, with Matthew Thomas currently wheezing away in this battle. So right now in the field, we have a battle absolutely everywhere. Every single battle, every single position on this podium is under threat. Matthew Thomas leads the way right now for the final position on the podium. But William Lindquist and Oliver Hull, Hull, Hull sorry, and Lewis Hull will not want to let them let that go easily. Um, Byron Johnson, of course, still leads the way, but it looks like William Lindquist was having a little look up the inside there with Matthew Thomas. With just three laps going this race, they may start to get a bit more impatient, start to make a bit more late lunges, but Matthew Thomas is not cracking right now. He is going as hard as he can. He's twisting the throttle as hard as he can. He's get his breaking markers absolutely perfect but Liam Lindquist looks to make a slight mistake there getting out of the corner but they head round towards the Spitfire straight for this third place with just three laps to go Byron Johnson leads the way from Sam Garner we can still see that battle raging on right now will Sam Garner find any time in this first sector he looked to be slightly faster last lap for this first sector of the circuit but no he cannot there's just two laps to go Alex who do you think is going to get the victory? Oh, well, uh, after the races we've had today, you cannot call it at all. But Byron Johnson uh, has a two, uh, two, I was going to say two second, then two tenths. Oh, and that is a rider falling down, just collecting his bike Liam Linquist, so I believe. That is Liam Linquist uh, that, we, uh, that we believe has fallen, but he's back up uh, once again. Uh, it's very, very nice to see. Uh, yeah, the yellow flag's in the first set there, so he's gone down just after the, uh, the first corner there. It's, uh, it's, also, uh, it's also really, uh, let's um, see, George Ackerman. He's actually gained three positions. Uh, from starting last uh, on the grade in 15. So here we are. They are very close together. That's Sam Gardner going on the inside. Yes, it is. He retakes. Oh, he takes the lead. But I say that. Byron Johnson gets a beautiful switch back on him and retakes the lead. We're on the final lap once again. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to have an energy left uh, for the next few races. This is absolutely incredible, the past few. As we see Sam Gardner trying to weave this way, that way to get past Johnson, Oliver Hall. Linquist uh, obviously has dropped down after that first lap incident. So now we see these top two drivers separated by just two tenths of a second. Can Sam Gardner do anything to get past Byron Johnson? Byron Johnson pulling a few tenths there uh, in the final few stages of this race. Coming through this very technical fast part of the track here where he's going to come to a right, left and a right just before we get onto the back of the Spitfire straight. Yes, there we go. Into the left, into the right. Can Sam Gardner be able to get the slipstream? He looks a little bit too far back, but here we go. Can he make a last lap send? It's going to be a hell of a send if he does. Unfortunately not, but it is going to be Byron Johnson after another fantastic battle. Who will win this race from Sam Gardner in P2? The battle for third place is still on, and it's going to be Matthew Thomas, I believe, who is just going to win it. Yes, uh, away from Oliver Hall with Lewis Hull. It's very confusing there. Uh, Hall and Hull in fourth and fifth. Chloe Gleason will finish in brilliant sixth place for her. Jensen Bishop in P7. Uh, uh, Callum Maxwell, P8. Leland Chris Knight and George Ackerman. Fantastic. He managed to gain five positions in that race. As we can see, Boren Johnson, Sam Gardner and Matthew Thomas on the screen there. Fantastic, fantastic drive there uh, from George Ackerman, who was unfortunately not here yesterday, but he is now. He gained five positions uh, on, that, uh, on that race. In that race, I should say. And uh, yes, a very, very, uh, another fantastic race. I, I think I'm going to need a few, uh, I think I'm going to need a few uh, energy drinks after that. So, Let's go through the top ten. Byron Johnson wins from just four tenths of a second from Sam Gardner there. Matthew Thomas in P3. Oliver Hall in P4. Lewis Hull in P5. Chloe Gleason, as I said, brilliant. Six. Seventh place for Jensen Bishop. Eight, Callum Maxwell. Liam Winquist, after that little uh, incident, finishes P9. And George Ackerman, a fantastic, fantastic tenth place. Yeah, it was a great race. Byron Johnson just taking the victory again. But Sam Gardner... It was just there. There's absolutely nothing separating them between every single race that they've been racing with each other. There's been nothing separating them. They are identical pretty much on lap times. I mean, their best laps, 
um, su- surprisingly enough, Sam Garner has the fast lap out of the two with a 54.5, with Byron Johnson being two tips slower. But Byron Johnson clearly just being a bit more consistent um, and be able to get the race win. The heat is bearing down on the track. These riders in these levers are going to be really warm, really sweaty, and it may affect them later on in the race. I mean, it's not a comfortable experience to race the motorcycle in the hot conditions, let me tell you that, in these thick levers with your helmet on, with your gloves on. Um, and there is Tristan Finocchiaro, the previous Fab racing commentator. Hopefully, um, he's got a phone somewhere near him to listen in. He's sorting out his bike, maybe trying to get his um, biting point for his clutch so he doesn't stall it on the line, um, as seen in the Pit Bike 140 race two. Uh, but yeah, Tristan will be hoping for a slightly better race as we see the AC40 Pros coming out onto the track. Um, this th- this has been a great race all weekend with these AC40 Pros. It's a pretty healthy sized grid um, with great racing all the way from first to the back of the grid. I mean, and it's so close in times. These riders um, will want to well, to want to be able to go to Ella Park with confidence, knowing the fact that they won the final race here at Quandau. Um, having that confidence will help you train better, it'll give you the positive mindset going into Ella Park um, that you really need as a rider. But, on pole position is going to be Sam Gardner as we wait to get away with the um, final warm-up lap for them for this weekend. Sam Gardner on pole position, as I said, with Matthew Thomas in second. Byron Johnson will be starting in third with Lewis Hull in fourth. Liam Lindquist will be starting in fifth with Jensen Bishop in sixth. Corey Gleason in seventh with Ollie O'Gorman in eighth. Oliver Hall will be starting in ninth, as I previously said earlier. He was testing Mini GP50 yesterday and potentially might be moving up in that towards the end of the season or next year. Bethany Ashby starting in 10th with Dylan Turin starting in 11th. Um, Zach Penegar, Penegar will be starting in 12th with Callum Maxwell in 13th. Koi Sewell will be 14th and rounding off the grid for this weekend will be George Ackerman. Um, so as we, as we wait for the riders just to come round to come to their starting grid under starters orders they are starting to build right now and um, that is Chloe so I believe that is stopped at the side of the track before the race that is absolutely heartbreaking and uh, for a, before the race has even started a race could be over and um, the hope that yeah, that is a race over the bike is getting put to the other side of the fence out of danger out of harm's way so we can get on with this race and not have a delay but Chloe so will be so disappointed in that having our weekend finish like that but everyone else is lined up on the grid waiting now what is going to happen what is no down below if you're just joining us this is the AC40 Pros the race is just about to start you've joined us at the perfect time we're waiting on the grid for confirmation from the back of the grid um, from the paramedic back there that we can start the race the thumbs up point of the lights at the front we now wait the riders now look up at the red lights wait for them to go on then they're going to go full throttle to the first corner lights are off now and we go racing here for the final race of the AC40 Sam Gardner leads the way out of the box with Byron Johnson up into second place but he is not going to sit in second place he is trying to get to the lead straight away it looks like it was a great start there as well from Matthew Thomas Matthew Thomas getting into third position um, in this first lap you see the Bishop on your picture there. Um, it's been a pretty good start. Ollie Gorman on your screen right now. Casey O'Gorman's brother is hoping for a great result to finish off his weekend, as are all the riders. Sam Gardner still leads the way, though, and he'll be hoping to keep up this pace um, and try and pass try and pass the bike in front of him, which is Byron Johnson. Byron Johnson, though, has had a great weekend um, so far. So Byron Johnson leads the way on this first lap of race, heading down to the hairpin. Sam Gardner... Sam Gardner um, 
Sam Garner is hoping for a great result today. Sam Garner, as they all go across the line, there's nothing separating them. 51 thousands of a second. Sam Garner's back in the lead, though. Sam Garner is pushed as hard as he can, but Byron Johnson is saying, no, I'm not going to let you go past me. I am going to try and show a front wheel and get back in front of you. Sam Garner leads the way still. Sam Garner's trying to go around the outside of Byron Johnson. Byron Johnson goes for the technical twisties as he comes out, trying to tuck in as much as possible. Sam Gardner is trying to get in front straight away though. Sam Gardner does not want to let Byron Johnson get into a rhythm because if he did, he is off. Byron Johnson is so confident with his motorcycle, but Sam Gardner is going to try and tuck in as much as he can on the back street, get into the slipstream, and hopefully make a move in this final corner, heading down the Spitfire straight. Byron Johnson still leads, taking a far more defensive line than Sam Gardner here. Sam Gardner is trying to follow um, Byron Johnson, but how will it look coming across the line? Byron Johnson is the fastest lap of the race with a 54.8. 3 tenths of a second gap now from Sam Gardner. It's only six laps to go though. Sam Gardner, on the other hand, is trying his absolute damn hardest. This is the final race of the weekend for him. Um, of course, Byron Johnson, we will see later on in the LC40 Elite racing still on this air-cooled bike because these air-cooled bikes are so fast. And although they are air-cooled, they are still capable of speeds up to 52 miles per hour, which is so much power for these 7 to 13 year olds. But Byron Johnson still leads the way from Sam Garner, heading down the Spitfire straight, full open throttle, as hard as they can, tucking as much as they can. Look how aerodynamic Sam Garner is. He's tried absolutely everything. He is taking a far more wider line, trying to carry far more corners for Byron Johnson, but it's not working. Byron Johnson is putting his body and his bike in all the right places so then Sam Gardner cannot get a peek through. Sam Gardner is trying as hard as he can, but Sam Gardner in that last lap, the fastest lap of the race, with a 54 point set. Sam Gardner is trying as much as he can. He's only a two tenth of a second gap with five laps to go in this race. Byron Johnson um, is, trying, is trying as hard as he can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, Byron Johnson having a really, really good race. He obviously it being closed in uh, by uh, by Sam Gardner here. These two riders are looking absolutely, absolutely incredible here. Only about two and a half tenths separate these two riders on the Spitfire straight. And I don't think it's going to be enough. But Byron Johnson does go defensive uh, there, which is a very interesting call. Uh, but uh, Sam Gardner then uh, is going over the line practically with it. They're almost side by side. Three tenths separate these two riders, which is absolutely incredible. Matthew Thomas in the third position with uh, 4.2 seconds to the back of uh, of Sam Gardner, which is great to see. These are fantastic, uh, fantastic little, uh, fantastic little races. Uh, you know they are they they, they, they are absolutely fantastic because you can see Matthew Thomas up there, who is currently in third position, trying to gain uh, some sort of an advantage. Uh, 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 to Sam Gardner and, and the two the two kind of main protagonists uh, of this race this being the last race uh, of, of this round these riders really want to prove uh, what they are what they are made of and, um, and and what they have so yeah these two riders coming down the Spitfire straight again at still about the same distance and Byron Johnson opting again to use the inside uh, so that Sam Gardner can't make any late dive bombs as that's Matthew Thomas uh, they're being chased by Lewis Hull uh, who has all of Hall behind him. Yeah, so they're very, very, very confusing. <laughs> Two names we put together uh, on uh, on the commentary, but um, you can see these riders coming through this very technical part uh, of the track. It's a left, right, left, right there, and a left again. It's a very high speed uh, section uh, of the track there, especially going around the corners as well. I bet the riders do feel it there as we now see uh, these riders coming through here as we see the 128 so yeah, this is the battle for the final podium uh, spot which is going to be very 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 interesting to see so Byron Johnson on that last lap setting the fastest lap of a 54 to 8 0 which is a very very quick uh, quick lap indeed as we see the two leaders uh, uh, who are coming through now this is a battle for third place that so we can see now. Uh, the Here we go, the battle for first place. They have closed up quite a lot. Something that Sam Gardner has done as well. Uh, that was that was a very, very near then. That was a, wow, that was, a, I bet that was a cold brown moment uh, for Sam uh, Gardner there. 
It was Sam Gardner is still trying. Byron Johnson, though, had a massive moment there coming out of the chicane. His bite, I, I could, don't actually know what happened. I think his foot might have touched the ground slightly. It just unsettled him. Um, and it settled the bite completely there. He's lucky to stay on. But the real question is, will this affect Byron Johnson? Because right now, it doesn't look like it will. Byron Johnson is trying as hard as he can to keep Sam Gardner behind him. But Sam Gardner is still tucked in. Sam Gardner looks far more efficient aerodynamically. But Byron Johnson is playing this so smart. He's going so defensive into his final cor corner. He knows that Sam Gardner may, may make a move here. But Sam Gardner is looking everywhere. This is the last lap of the race. Sam Gardner is going to try absolutely everywhere for a pass. He's going to push as hard as he can, crack open the throttle as hard as he can, be as aerodynamic, put it all on the line for this last lap of the last race of this weekend. They know that this is for the win. They know that all the pressure is on Byron Johnson right now. Sam Gardner has no pressure. He has absolutely nobody behind him but the person in front of him. All he has is the person in front of him and can, he can push as hard as he can. Byron Johnson is as tucked in as possible, going for his final chicane. Sam Gardner is going to try and find some way past, but can he do it? As we go down the final straight, can Sam Gardner make a move to try and win this race? Byron Johnson still leads the way, but will Sam Gardner find the way past? Heading to his final corner it does not look like he will Byron Johnson wins the AC40 Pro race free with Sam Gardner in second place just three tenths of a second separating the two riders as we wait for Matthew Thomas to come around to take third place Matthew Thomas then comes around and takes third place closely followed by Lewis Hull and Oliver Hall but there's your top three Byron Johnson Sam Gardner and Matthew Thomas they will all be absolutely delighted with that result it was a great race all race and it was very very, very smart, really played by Byron Johnson, who is your race winner, as I said, by three tenths of a second, with a best lap of 54.2. Sam Garner taking second place, Ma Matthew Thomas in third, Lewis Hull in fourth, Oliver Hall in fifth, Chloe Gleason in sixth, Jensen Bishop in seventh, Dylan Turin in eighth, Callum Maxwell in ninth, and Ollie O'Gorman rounding out the top ten. Great result there from Ollie O'Gorman as well. Quick mention to him, of course, brother of Casey O'Gorman, which hopefully Casey's getting on good today here um, in Estoril. Um, hopefully he should be back towards the end of the season and we can see him race because he is such a good rider to watch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree there. Absolutely agree. Yeah, uh, fantastic, fantastic race there. You know, uh, dominance uh, dominance, and uh, a really good drive uh, ride by Byron Johnson there. You know, he's really he, he's really uh, kind of com coming into his own there, you know, not making uh, mistakes. You know, Sam Garner putting on a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure that a rider has to, uh, to eat up there. And that is the amazing action here at Clandau. What an absolutely fantastic day of racing. Join us next time uh, for round three at Ella Park. Thank you for watching. the road to MotoGP. This is Fab Racing.